well. What an unexpected surprise. It's not often I have guests here in these forsaken homes. Step forward, my dear. Come into the light and let me get a better look at you. My, that's quite the cloak you've got there. What is your name? I see. A lovely name indeed. So lyrical, like music on the tongue. It almost sounds familiar. Have I heard it somewhere before? Who am I? <laughs> I am the sorcerer, Vincent Wolf. It's a pleasure to meet you, my dear. Now, what could bring a delicate little thing like yourself into these desolate wastes? Are you an adventurer, perhaps? Here to slay the evil sorcerer in exchange for gold and glory. Or perhaps you wish to learn my secrets. Is that it, my dear? You just can't resist the allure of my forbidden magic. You can't help but hear those sweet, scintillating whispers as the darkness calls to you. <laughs> Such a withering look. Now, now, my dear. I only jets. There's no need to get angry. Though I do like a fiery spirit. You need my help. Oh my, that is interesting. What could be so important that you'd be willing to brave the dangers of this wasteland? What could you desire so badly? That it would lead you to seek out the sorcerer whose name is feared throughout the entire kingdom. A cure, you say? Ah, I see. Your father is terribly ill, and none of the kingdom's healers have been able to help him. He's not long for this world, they say. So, in desperation, you've come to me. You seek my aid in curing him of this unknown mind. Is that it? <laughs> well, fear not, my dear. I know a way to cure your father. However, you can't get something for nothing, I'm afraid. There will be a cost. What do I want? Well, for starters, how about you tell me who you really are? Come now, my dear. Let's not play games. Why don't you lower your hood and let me see your face? You can try to lie, but your voice is shaking like a leaf. Don't be afraid, my dear. Lower your hood. I must know who you really are trying to help you. <laughs> ah, yes. Just as I thought. Good day, your highness. What an honor to have royalty under my roof. How did I know? Oh, don't be surprised, my dear. I knew it was you the moment you stepped into my halls. Let me look at you properly. My, Your eyes as bright as the first stars of Eden. Your face, like spring's first fall. Even the scratches on your cheeks can't diminish your hands. I take it my crimson creepers put up a fight. It must have taken a lot of courage to simply stand there and bear the pain. Most people would have fought back on instinct. They'd end up having a life choked up. The thorny tendrils wrapped around the throats. You are brave on top of that. But, back to business. Let me see. Uh, yes. Here is the cure, my dear. The potion will cure any malady, no matter how severe. Hmm? Why, yes, it is made using dark magic. Would you expect anything else from me? The exiled sorcerer of legend. But I assure you, the potion will do nothing but good. One sip and your father will be himself again, just as healthy as he was. 
if not more so. However, I will require something else in return. What's that you want? I want a promise. Yes, a promise. At some point, my dear, I will come and find you to name my price. And when I do, you must promise to give it to me, no matter what it is. Well, do we have a deal? <laughs> you're trembling, my dear. Are you afraid? It's your choice, your highness. If you wish, you can turn and walk right out that door. But decide quickly, my patience is limited. As is your beloved father's time. <laughs> That's right. While you stand here idly, his life is bleeding away, like sand in an hourglass. Well, what will it... No. <laughs> well, then I suppose that's that. Very good. Yes. I suppose that means our business is done. Good luck, my dear. A pleasure to assist you. I'm sure we'll meet again. 